Hello everyone. In this video, we will be solving system of inequalities by graphing. This is the fifth part. I will put the link of the first, second, third, and fourth part in the description box below. Before we look into this example right here, let's have a review on graphing inequalities in two variables. We remember that if we have a greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, we are going to use a solid graph. If we have a greater than or less than, we're going to use the broken graph. Now notice that if we have a bar underneath, we're going to use a solid graph. If we don't have a bar underneath the inequality, we're going to use the broken graph. Now let's have the first example. Okay, so going over this first example here, both of these are absolute value inequality. The first step that we're gonna do is to determine the vertex. Let's, let's graph the first inequality first. So we're gonna determine the vertex for this. Remember the vertex would be switch and keep, so this would be negative two and negative three, because I have to switch and keep. So the first dot would be located on negative two, negative three, that's right here. So this is the vertex. In order that we can determine the rest of the dots, we're supposed to use an equation so that we can determine what el where else are the other dots that make up this inequality. There's a trick that is uh, there's a trick that we use in order that we can determine that equation. What we do is we cover the k, we cover the h, and then we are going to change the inequality to equal, and that is the equation that we're going to use. So in this. Um, Inequality right there, the equation that we're going to use would be y is equal to the absolute value of x. And from here, we are ready to create the table. From the vertex, Okay, so I've set up the table. It's always going to be one right, two right, three right. So what are we going to do is uh, this one, two, and three will be plugged into the X. So if we have one here, so we plug it in here. So absolute value of one is one. And so this is this means that we are going up. And then in this case right here, we have a two. So absolute value of two would be a positive two. So that is a two. That means we are going up. And then three, the absolute value of three is three. That means we are going up. So then from here, we can go ahead and sketch the rest of the dots to create this inequality. So from the vertex, we go one to the right and one up. So this is the next dot right here. Two to the right from the vertex, one, two. Then we go up to one, two. So it's going to be right here. And then three to the right, one, two, three. Then we go up three, one, two, three. So it's going to be right here. And then we are going to create the other branch, which is across from the axis of symmetry. Okay, so I've created the dots, so we're going to connect them. Now, we have to determine, are we going to uh, create a broken line or a solid line? We can determine that by looking at this. Since there's no bar underneath, we are going to use a broken line. So it's going to be a broken line. Okay, so I've connected them with a broken line. Now we're going to determine which side do we shade. Are we going to shade above the vertex or below the vertex? The trick is if Y is isolated by itself on the left side, locate the vertex. And from the vertex, shade above the vertex if it's greater than or greater than or equal to. Shade the side below the vertex if it's less than or less than or equal to. Since this is greater than, we're going to shade above the vertex. So this is below the vertex. This is above the vertex. So I'm going to shade above the vertex. Okay, now we've shaded it. These are the solution to this inequality. Now we're ready to move on to the second um, inequality here. Again, we determine the vertex. Our vertex for this would be, remember, switch and keep. So that would be a negative one and eight. So the vertex is gonna sit at negative one and eight. So that's a negative one. And then we go up to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the vertex is gonna sit here. Now we're going to determine where are the rest of the dots going. So again, there's a trick on how to do that because we're going to use an equation for it. In order to determine that equation, we're gonna cover the K, we're gonna cover the H, 
and then we are supposed to change the inequality into equal sign so then we go ahead and write the equation to be y is equal to the negative absolute value of x from here we're ready to create the table So we're going to plug this uh, 1, 2, and 3 into the x. So then we go ahead and say we start with 1. So absolute value of 1 is 1. And then there's a negative in front. So that means this is a negative 1. So that means we are going down. And then we plug in the 2. Absolute value of 2 is a positive 2. There's a negative in front. So that becomes a negative 2. So that means we are going down. And then the 3 here will be plugged into the x. So there's a negative in front. So this becomes a negative 3. That means we are going down. So then from here, we go ahead and sketch the rest of the dots. So from the vertex, we go to the right. Then we go down 1. So this is the next dot. And then we go to the right 2, 1, 2. And then go down to 1. Two, so this is where the next dot is going to sit. From the vertex, we go 3 to the right. 1, 2, 3. Then we go down 3. 1, 2, 3. This is where the next dot is. Now, since we, this is an absolute value um, graph, we're supposed to reflect it across from the axis of symmetry. Okay, now we are going to determine, are we going to use a broken line or a solid line? To know that, we're supposed to look at the inequality right here. Since there's no bar underneath, we're supposed to use a broken line. So I'm going to use a broken line right here. Okay, now we are going to determine which side do we shade. Is it above the vertex or below the vertex? Now, um, in order that we can determine that, we, are, we have a trick to follow. If y is isolated by itself on the left side, locate the vertex. And from the vertex, shade above the vertex if it's greater than or greater than or equal to. Shade below the vertex if it's less than or less than or equal to. Since in this problem right here, this is less than, we're going to shade below the vertex. So this is above the vertex, this is below the vertex, so that means we are shading the ones that are below the vertex. Okay, this means that our solution to this system of um, inequality are actually this parts right here, the points that are located in this portion. So this part is the solution to this system of inequality. So if we get a point that's on the red, that's not a solution to the ine system of inequality. If we have a point that is on the blue only, that is not the solution to the system of inequality, it has to be where the two colors are overlapping or where the two colors are intersecting or where the two colors are on top of each other. And it is on this portion right here. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!